Hello there and welcome to this new CAVCO tutorial with a new format. So today's video we're going to take a high resolution photograph and convert it into a 3D relief suitable for an engraving into metal. I suppose you could do it into wood as well but it is only going to be two millimeters in height. So I'll set this uh, new format screen up now with CAVCO and we'll make a start. So the CAVCO program I'm going to be using today is the full industrial program of CAVCO. Now just a reminder to you that there is a discount code below this video but it, you can only get that discount if you go to the accompanying uh, address. So what I'm going to show you today you can do on the three programs that's CAVCO Maker, CAVCO Maker Plus or this main CAVCO program. Uh, up in the top left hand corner you'll see some high resolution uh, photographs that we're going to be using today. Uh, I think we're just going to be using the one today. So when you start your CAVCO program off uh, this is the screen that will present itself to you. So you simply go to your material and left click, drag and drop it in. And CAVCO will bring it in, as you can see here, it is a, a very large uh, high resolution photograph. So I'm going to reduce this down to, I think, um, 200 millimeters in height, uh, I think. No, we'll make it 100, sorry. 100, uh, then we're going to go one millimeter in height, not two. Uh, so, you know, we're going to be making something like um, an engraved small plaque, uh, say brass or something like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be a tiger, it can be anything, but it does need to be high resolution graphics. Or the higher the resolution uh, the graphic comes in, the better it can be going to have. Uh, so I'm going to make this one millimeter in height and I'm going to press OK. And there it is, so I'll just stretch this out a bit. Now if I zoom in, you'll see that there's quite a bit of noise in, you know, with the picture. It's made a 3D relief, but it's actually made a 3D relief of some of the noise as well. So, in all three programs, or anything I show you in this particular video, can be done in any of the CAVCO programs. So, what I'm going to simply do is go to the smooth relief tool click on that I'm going to go to this slider bar and we're just going to if if I'm not looking at you at the screen it's because I'm using a webcam I know it's unnerving sometimes <laughs> but um, here we go I'm just sliding it down sliding it down I'm watching the picture at the same time it's doing this in real time uh, let me zoom in take this back up. I want to zoom into these whiskers actually. So I'm just using the scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom in. So I'm going to catch hold of this slider bar. Uh, this is a fairly, it's a brand new computer and it's a very fast computer. Um, I will tell you that, uh, you know, the faster the computer or the, that you can use this on, uh, you know, the, the better the outcome. In other words, there's no delay. Okay. I'm going to take that to about 30, if I can. There you are, there's 30. So, you know, these whiskers are going to stand proud. They're going to be 3D, but we've got rid of the majority you know, 95% of the noise and we haven't lost uh, too much in the fur. Bearing in mind this is going to be 
100 millimeters high or four inches so it's going to, you know it's a very high resolution uh, 3d model now it's as simple as that um, now if you want to catch out of this slider bar here actually and fade the photograph out behind it and leaves you with the actual 3D uh, image that you're left with. But uh, I like to see the so go halfway, we've got half and half there. So you can see we've got uh, a fairly decent 3D relief there. So now we're going to machine it and we'll uh, choose some material that it's going to end up uh, being machined into, a piece of brass. So we're okay with that. So I'm going to apply that. That's pretty good. You see all the little hairs here? I'll just zoom in. So all these hairs are going to be machined. And uh, this is going to look fairly nice actually. Beautiful in fact. Okay, so we're done with that. So now we're fully prepared. It's as easy and as quick as that. How to make a relief from a photograph. So we're going to go now to tools. There's several different areas that you can go to to uh, get the tools to, you know, to start the tool paths. You can either go over here and call up tools. I normally come up here to the top uh, bar up here. Go tools, 3D. Machining relief. So we're going to click on that one. Uh, we're going to do the whole relief, uh, and we're going to go straight into a finishing option. And we're going to it's uh, let me see metric tools. So we're going to go over there. Open up the metric tools now. I'm going to choose aluminium, even though it's brass. That gives you, I suppose, close, um, shall we say, speed and feeds. Uh, but, uh, it's, you know, sp speed and feeds when you're machining, it's a lot of trial and error because, you know, all machines are different. Um, so you sort of get to know your own machine. Uh, 3D finishing, so we'll open that. And we're going to be using not a ball mouse now. Um, engraving. Here we go. I'm going to be using a conical tool and a very, very sharp one. And the sharpest tool we got here is this one. So we're going to choose that one. This is what a this is a representation of a conical tool. It's uh, just a, a sharp pointy tool. Uh, normally these are uh, sort of they're ground uh, and they're like cut in half as it were. Um, that's the type I use anyway and they're highly polished. Um, let me see. So I'm, I'm not going to edit anything. I'm just going to select that. Okay. Conical tool. So we're going to go in here now and edit the speed and feeds. Um, many of you may know I have several different uh, machines and recently I have one that I constructed myself over a four month period um, and it's I suppose uh, semi-industrial. It's got a 2.2 .2 kilowatt spindle and it's got a uh, about a 36, 36 bed on it and uh, I've actually made it so I can fit 250 millimeters underneath it because I intend to do some uh, or build a fourth axis as well for it. Um, okay so back to this step over uh, that's okay actually it's going to take a fair while it'll probably take a good to do this it'll probably take an hour and a half out of that step over but using a step over at 
0.005 with a conical tool like this you will eliminate a lot of the machining lines um, and you'll have less finishing um, just would probably need a little bit of uh, polishing on a, on a buffing wheel uh, something like this in brass um, I'm going to leave the recommended step down Although we're only going one millimeter in, this is fine to leave that. Uh, feed rate, that's a bit slow. It's like, <laughs> I'm going to up that uh, to, okay, so this is millimeters per minute. So, yeah, this is um, very slow. Uh, so I'm going to speed that up to possibly... Fifty millimeters per minute plunge weight. I'm going to go I'm also going to do 250 per minute uh, I could pos possibly go a little bit further than this um, I'm going to take that to 500 actually Uh, my machine will withstand that and this number will be altered to 24,000 RPM um, I don't have a tool changer so tool number one is absolutely fine um, not necessary to have lead-in modes safe Z height recommended five millimeter that is fine um, let's set the material height so I'm going to say that this is a three millimeter um, I'm going to press OK I'm just going to put here Okay, cut one test, and I'm going to calculate now. The, the, this actual toolpath program is going to be quite lengthy. Um, probably somewhere in the regions of um, a million lines of code that's a type of um, you know that's how large it's going to be which has been my experience I'm leaving this in real time for you and like I say this is a very fast computer it's got um, um, an SSD uh, memory it's got uh, 16 uh, gig of RAM and it's uh, i7 and um, I forgot the actual speed it runs at, but uh, it's pretty fast. And as you can see there, the um, there is a lot of. <laughs> if I can zoom in, you can see there the individual lines of cut. There's a lot. So what we're going to do now is we're going to accept that. That's fine. So now we're going to. If I open up this here, I can then come to the toolpaths, which is simulate toolpaths, and I want this very fast, otherwise it's going to take an age, and we're going to say simulate this. There it is. Now the odd marks in the background here, they won't actually come into the... Um, the relief at all. This is just, uh, I suppose, the computer um, uh, interacting with the uh, screen that I have. Um, so you can, these lines won't be there, but you can see the 
3D well. So now we're going to choose, let's choose a material. Uh, we do that down here. Um, let me see. Beach. I like to use bronze actually. That, uh, okay. Let's try bronze. Which is going to represent We're going to represent the brass, I think. Uh, best color too. Like I say, this um, scratching in the background is not going to uh, not going to occur on the uh, piece of material. So now the last job we need to do is to export the toolpath. Okay, so we're just going to save this as. Test one. Now that. Now these are all the different types of or formats of G code that uh, Kafka will save in. Now our particular one is going to be Mark three, uh, which is all the way down here somewhere. Here we go. Uh, Mark 3 millimeter tap. That's my usual. Now I find that if you're using uh, millimeters, um, all machines, no matter you know, sort of what they are really, they understand this uh, tap code. So I'm just going to say save. And it's a long file. So there it is. It's done. So, that is how to convert a high resolution photograph directly into a 3D relief and construct the toolpaths. Uh, I say again, you can do this in any of the Kafka programs, Maker, Maker Plus, or this, the main Kafka program. And also don't forget that underneath this video, in the video description area, you will find a fairly hefty discount code for any of the CAVCO programs. So, once again, thank you for joining me, and um, it's bye till next time. Bye for now.